This is Jordan with ETVU Sportsnet, talking with Bellhaven with Kennedy Carruth, Ali Gordon, Kevin Griffin, and Macy, Macy Ziskin. Um, Kennedy, you know, you did pretty ga- great in the circle today. Can you just talk about pitching? Yeah, um, we face these hitters a lot, so we kind of know going in, like, what to expect. I'd say this is probably the best hitting team we ever have faced, so I know that I just have to ex- execute my pitches and do my best at every time. <laughs> it's all good. And Allie, <laughs> do you just want to talk about how y'all are preparing for your game tomorrow? Um, Yeah, well, we're preparing by just resting and just taking the rest of the day, just chilling. We'll go get something to eat. And then we're also mentally preparing for whoever it's going to be, ETBU or Texas Lutheran. They're both great teams. So we're just going to have to compete every pitch. And I think we just have to, like, have that dog mindset just – from today and then sleep on it and then wake up ready to play that's great and Macy great double in the game thank you thank you do you just want to talk about that well you know we had great energy throughout the game and I felt like I was finally due for a hit so I was like I'm going in here and I'm ready to go and you know we came out here with the point to prove so we just wanted to get this win and get ready for tomorrow that's great and coach can you just talk about the game today well it's good to be in a familiar environment I said that yesterday and all of our girls know what to expect when they walk in here. You know the quality opponent that you're going to be playing. And uh, it's a great environment. It's a great facility. We like playing here. Um, kind of a home away from home, I guess you would say, because we were in the ASC for so long. But, you know, you still have to play the game. and You have to come and play against a good opponent. I felt like we were really motivated today. I felt like we were uh, engaged in all aspects and had some really good at-bats. And when we – have that mentality and mindset and that approach we're pretty tough to beat yeah well thank y'all for talking we're going to open up the floor to some questions kenneth nash with blazer sports network kennedy you had uh, obviously complete game shutout six strikeouts today you ran into a little bit of trouble in the seventh though the bases were loaded tying run at the plate can you just kind of give us your mindset in that situation you know you've got to get that next out you don't want to get to the middle part of the order um and you obviously came up with a big uh, a big ground ball at the middle of the end of the game I wouldn't want to face any of those hitters at any time, honestly. But I just knew that just going out there and I just had to be relaxed and do what I knew I was capable of doing. I had to look over at Allie one time. She's like, you're good. You've been here before. So that's just the mindset that I have to have. Allie, I know that you and Kennedy obviously communicate a lot when you're in the field together. Uh, Can you kind of run us through? Obviously, the sixth inning got a little rocky, and then the seventh got a little bit uh, dangerous as well. What was kind of what were your words, I guess, to Kennedy in the infield and the rest of the team, um, just to kind of reset and refocus and make sure everybody was kind of calm and ready to get out of the inning? Yeah. Well, I just told him. I said we have the lead. They're the ones trying to come back. So we just need to play like we have the lead. We're not down. We're not scratching for four runs. So just. Be relaxed. They're the ones trying to fight back, and we just already had our place. So just to relax, breathe, get the out, and not worry about chasing runners everywhere. Macy, uh, you were a part of this team last year that came to this Marshall Regional and uh, was able to, to get the win there and move to the Super Regional. After beating Texas Lutheran last uh, yesterday, uh, a team you were lost to last year, you were taking on ETBU, a team you have a ton of familiarity with. You played, played them seven times last season. Uh, can you talk about what it's like for you and for the team as a whole to come into today knowing you're taking on an opponent that you've played regularly and were able to get the best of the last few times you played them? Well, coming here and playing them, it, they're always a good team to play. Very talented, um, and we just know that we have to come out here hot with good energy and play some Blazer softball, and we did that today. So, And one final question, Coach Griffin. Uh, obviously, this is kind of the, the dream start of your coach, getting two wins, being able to take the rest of the day off. Um, but you got to kind of reset quickly because you know you're going to take on uh, one of these final three teams as they kind of duke it out in the elimination bracket. Not knowing who you're going to be playing until later today, how do you kind of – make sure that the team's focused and, and kind of preparing, even though they don't necessarily know who's going to be lining up against them tomorrow? Well, again, we've been here before. We've been in this situation. So it doesn't really matter who we play. Um, you know, a lot of people didn't think that, that we had the season to be back here. So it's like Macy said, we're just trying to prove people wrong, trying to prove a point, and making sure that, that we take care of business. Our mentality is going to be fine uh, tonight. It doesn't matter who we play. We're going to come back out here tomorrow. We're going to play the way that Bellhaven's capable of playing. We have to worry about us and and not as much about the opponent that we're going to play. If we take care of us, then uh, we're going to be just fine. When you've got these three um, on your team, they're the heart and soul of our team. They're the leaders. 
I don't have to, to rally the troops as a coach. They're going to handle that as players. And when you've got players that lead from within, you're already better off than if you don't. So uh, I don't worry too much about it because I've got players like them to get out there and lead the way. Thanks, y'all. Yes, and thank y'all so much for talking with us, and good luck tomorrow. Thank All right, you. Thank you.